All right, hello YouTube. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, GeoHot's um, op or what's it called, comma.ai. Now, uh, I, I tried to make a video about this before, but my microphone wasn't working. Uh, anyways, uh, what I wanted to talk about was uh, how he actually goes about uh, doing the, the CAN bus interaction itself. Now, when he released Common AI, he's, he's saying that it's open source, but in reality, all of his vision software is all entirely uh, proprietary. He's not releasing it. If you go in uh, and you look under Open Pilot, uh, and then you look at his vision D, it's just a binary. There's nothing, there's no code there. So I can't actually comment on the quality of what his vision control software is. Uh, in, in addition, I, I also don't really know a whole ton about um, computer vision, so I, I can't really comment on that. But what I can comment on here is on the board itself that he had running the car, he originally, he, like, he, he kept saying how safe and how secure this was, but in reality, this is really dangerous. All he has here when he's interacting with the CAN bus is he just has a first in, first out queue, which means that the first command that gets sent to the queue is going to be the first command that comes out of the queue. First in, first out. It's like a, basically imagine like a, like a queue that you just keep adding beads to and then you take them off the other end. So that's, that's a first in, first out queue. Now, he's just got simple pop and push methods on his, on his queue here, and then all the only sanity checks that he does here is he just checks to see if the controls are allowed or if the uh, the throttle interrupt has been has been hit. So basically, he turns off he turns off his autopilot if they hit the brakes, or he turns off uh, if they touch the accelerator. That's that's the only checking he does. He doesn't do any other sort of sanity checking. So that means that if his vision control software was to push shitty data. If it was to push data that said, you need to steer full lock right now, even though you're going 100 kilometers an hour, that's what you have to do, the board would just say, okay, and it would do it. If there's no safety checking in the actual ECU of the car itself, this isn't actually safe at all. Um, I, I personally wouldn't trust the car and the car's, um, the car to do the safety checks personally. I would want to do them myself because I don't know what model of car has the safety checks. I don't know if the car's safety checks are working. I don't know if there's a bad sensor. Any of this stuff could be a mess. So there should be multiple levels of safety checking that he's doing, but he's currently not doing it as far as the board level. And it's, it's easy stuff here, like inside of his, inside of his mailbox, his, uh, first in first, his first in first out queue, all he does before he sends a command is he just checks to see if the brake has been pressed. He checks to see if the f um, he, he checks to see if the controls are allowed. Basically, he checks to see if it's actually doing anything. Uh, if it's if it's allowed to do anything, it doesn't actually check to see if what you're asking the car to do is dangerous. It doesn't check that at all. Now maybe it does in his vision software, but that's still way higher level than actually on the board itself because the board itself the board itself is the one that can actually read the data the steering position the throttle position things like that is what this thing can read but it doesn't check that before it sends it before it sends a command so say you were sending a throttle command and you were saying I want to throttle from 0 to 100 right now well that obviously shouldn't be allowed because the throttle position is currently going to be 0 you, you don't want that. You don't want the throttle to immediately jump from 0 to 100. That's why currently the cruise control, well, actually back in the 90s and actually earlier than that in the 80s, the cruise control systems were operated off of the manifold vacuum, and there was no actual way to run the cruise control when the car was idling. It just wasn't possible. The vacuum didn't actually get high enough until about uh, 60 kilometers an hour. Uh, it later became a, a hard-coded thing, but Back in the a, day, you used, used to not, not be able to set, set the, the throttle, throttle from, from the start. You, you could, could push, push the button, button and nothing, nothing would happen, happen right? right? So, so that's, that's one particular problem with his code, code and, and that's, that's actually the main issue with, with, with what he's done here. 
because if, if, if I was trying to maliciously modify the software, I could, I could just pump packets into his, co into his board that's, that's communicating with the car, and I could just give it garbage data. And I could, if, if I, I could compromise his, his code, then there's, there's absolutely nothing that's saying that I couldn't, you know, wait until, until the car's, car's going 100 kilometers an hour and then send, send it uh, steering packets that say pull lock right, pull lock left, pull lock right, pull lock left, and then either break the car or cause an accident. So, so as, as far as what he's got on the board, there is no way that this thing should ever be close to market because there is too much of an error. There's too much of a margin of error here. There's too much of a problem with any sort of malicious activity that could happen. It's not a good idea as far as what he's done here. If I was working on this project, I probably wouldn't even get in the car with this thing because I don't trust it. I don't, I don't trust, trust it to not send garbage, garbage data and fuck, fuck my, my car up. And, and I mean, even, even, if, even if he does say, well, look, if something goes wrong with the car, you just put your foot on the brake and it'll stop. That, that, could, be, that, that could be disabled as well. Easily. Easily disabled. He's, He's got, got a first in, first out queue. So you, you could, could continually just keep pumping the queue full and full of garbage data. data. You keep pumping it full. So, yeah, yeah sure, the brake gets, gets hit. But then, then it, it gets pumped, pumped in with, with, with other, other data, data, and you could, could make it so that you, you could actually specifically attack that specific implementation of the software because you know that if someone hits the brake, you can easily disable it as well. Now, if somebody was to hold on the brakes, that would be an issue too, but... To be honest, if you're going 100 kilometers an hour and your car suddenly, like, full locks right, it doesn't matter how hard you hit the brakes or the accelerator, your car is going to flip. Especially on newer cars where the center of gravity is ridiculously high. Uh, older sports cars might be a little bit better, but for the most part, I mean, there, 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 isn't, much, there isn't many cars on the market right now that can go full lock at full speed. It just doesn't exist. The only one that I know of that could probably maybe even come close to being in, like, an old Mini, but... Still, you could probably roll that relatively easy if you tried that. So, basically, geohotcom.ai, um, vision code, I don't know, maybe it works. I can't really say much. I don't know enough about vision software. Uh, and he also hasn't released code. As far as what he's got on the uh, board that's interacting with your car, this is terrifying, it's dangerous, and um, I really, really, really hope I would never get in a car with this and build something substantially better comes along. Uh, and that's about it. So, have a great day, YouTube.